Hi guys, how are you fellow aligner providers and dental colleagues? Thank you for those who've kept DMing me with questions. I had someone come back to me and said, you spoke about some Invisalign butterfly thing and you spoke about the execution thing. Can you go through that again? Because I did not understand and I often have a tendency to confuse people. So I, I, I apologize for that. What I, what I was trying to articulate was <clears throat> when we speak to suppliers for dentistry, let's say Invisalign or Clear Correct or anyone, what they understand is that a newly uh, certified provider, if within three to four months has not done a certain level of activity, they're probably going to not scale and grow their business. So what they're saying is, although we have provided education, unless that dentist can execute and grow, they're going to stay stagnant. We try to explain this in the context of a caterpillar and a butterfly. Think about the caterpillar growing up, it's around all of its mates on the leaf, but the caterpillar says, I want to grow. Its friends around it are probably not looking to grow. So they stay as they are as a simple life form. So a let's use now dental analogies. Someone's done certification, they can now do aligners, but they probably do less than four to five a year. The question is, what's the difference between someone who does four to five a year and four to five a month? The guy who does a four to five a month understands that there's a transformation that's needed within them, their clinical practice and the team. So that person, let's say, enters a cocoon. Within that cocoon, that caterpillar has to undergo adaptation, change, discomfort. It has to almost unravel its identity it can't be sort of in a NHS, Nash Bash, 50 UDAs a, a day mindset. It has to embrace something new because when that caterpillar pokes its head out of the cocoon for the very first time, if it thinks, oh my God, I'm freaking out. How the hell am I going to fly? You can see it's not going to be able to live its destiny and fly. In the same way, we're seeing clear patterns between dentists who freak out and retreat back and those who change to the next level. Part of that is adaptation to something new. Part of that is understanding it's painful. Part of that is understanding there's a stripping of your identity. Part of that is understanding that there are natural processes and we need to allow natural processes to occur. We've discussed some of these processes already in terms of asking questions and such things. So guys, if you have any further questions, feel free to DM me. What I would love for you guys to do is to like this, share it, tag it. I don't understand how it works, but do something because what we want to do is as a collective, share ideas, best practices, things that are working for, for us. So collectively, we can all grow in the same way. Thanks a lot, guys. Speak soon.